With that, a minute and a half to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Flores. Gentleman's recognized for a minute and a half. Madam Speaker, on March 11th of this year, the Speaker of the House said the following in an interview with the Washington, Qu and the Washington Post, quote, impeachment is so divisive to the country that unless there's something so compelling and overwhelming and bipartisan, I don't think that we should go down that path because it divides the country, unquote. I think most Americans would agree with that statement because it sounds thoughtful and reasonable. So here we are today to vote on the articles of impeachment. How did the majority party do in meeting the objectives set, set forth by the speaker? Here are the answers. First, the only compelling attribute about this sham is the lengths the majority has gone to, to appease the radical socialist wing of their party. Second, the, over, the only overwhelming feature about this sham is the abuse of power by the majority and the reckless disregard for fairness by the majority throughout this entire circus. And finally, the only bipartisan activity related to this sham will be the votes against these flimsy articles of impeachment. I ask my colleagues to, to join me in opposing these deplorable articles of impeachment and to demand that the House get back to working on the priorities that hardworking families care about the most. I yield back. Gentleman from Kansas.